Hey everybody, I am in Denver this week for a podcasting convention because that's evidently something that I do now. But I wanted to share some thoughts on some of the central ideologies that many Christians today have about what the Bible is and how we should think about it. Almost all of these ideologies are unbiblical. That is to say, there are ideologies that developed after the biblical text had been composed and their authors were long dead. And they developed because once we decided, okay, we're going to bring these texts together and we're going to draw a boundary around these texts, and they are going to function as an authoritative library of texts, we now had a new artifact and we had to come up with ways to think about what this artifact was and how we were supposed to think about it and engage with it. And so things like inerrancy and univocality and inspiration are all ideas that were mainly developed after the biblical text had already been written and did not exist when the Bible was really just the scriptures, which was a much larger, much more pluriform, much different corpus than what we now understand as the Bible. And just one example is the idea of inspiration. Many people point to 2 Timothy 3.16 as uh, indicating that every last syllable of the Bible is inspired, but there are numerous problems with this. To begin, this was not Paul who wrote 2 Timothy. Uh, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, and Titus, critical scholarship overwhelmingly agrees, were written decades after Paul's death by someone writing in his name. But additionally, it just refers to the scriptures. And in this time period, and particularly if you assign Paul as the author of 2 Timothy, the texts of the New Testament were not considered scripture. Any reference to scripture was a reference to the Jewish scriptures, and so did not even apply to what we now understand as the New Testament. But the biggest problem is this word that is generally translated inspired, theopneustos in Greek. There was a book that was published a couple years ago by a scholar named John C. Poirier called The Invention of the Inspired Text, and Poirier makes a convincing case that that word and related words were not understood to mean inspired in the sense that we understand that word today until around the third century CE and particularly with the writings of Origen. Prior to that, Theopneustos meant God breathed in the sense of life-giving and livening and this is why we see it being used prior to Origen in reference to things like springs of water and ointments and even sandals. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to understand that word to mean inspired in reference to sandals. And here is Poirier's book if you want to go take a look at his full argument. But to conclude, these ideologies that are central to Christian understandings of what the Bible is and how we should think about it, whether it's inerrancy or sufficiency or univocality or inspiration. These are not ideas that the biblical authors themselves came up with. These are not ideas that originate in or are authorized or legitimized within the biblical text. They are ideas that people who don't really have the same claim to inspiration as the biblical text within the Christian worldview came up with in order to make the biblical text more meaningful and more useful to them.